Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before I jump into the topics, I beg enough to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Bounty killer drags Mr. Lex again and styles him as Mr. Vex. Intense this killy bang over fake Nicki Minaj collab. Shensia breaks down on Mother's Day. And DJ Khaled responds to his album debuting at number one on Billboard. Plus, Jamaica being home to him. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is Bounty killer dissing Mr. Lex once again. And Bounty killer see him for now. I have no mercy for Mr. Lex over the comments them we make and also I'm pretty sure Bounty Killer saw the interview where, where um, Mr. Lex did say yo a lot of the artists them them are some P-U-S-S-Y because them feel a certain way towards DJ Khaled but them not really say it. You understand what I'm saying, people? Now Bounty Killer made a post on his Instagram page showing that DJ Khaled's album Khaled Khaled debuted at number one on the Billboard chart. You understand what I'm saying, people? And of course you know say Bounty Killer go use this for true little shades of family. Mr. Lex, because Mr. Lex did this DJ Khaled, and of course, you know, say Bounty and DJ Khaled have a good relationship. So, as me say, Bounty Killer goes up, so make that post there, and the caption for that he said, Ras Clark, you know, this is a new pandemic, laughing emoji. Gonna get out my Grammy suit from now because Visa will be loading by then, hopefully, laughing emoji, Khaled, hashtag Khaled Khaled, hashtag Billboard. Hashtag still load. Hashtag where you come from. Someone tag Mr. Vex, please. You understand, people? Who no know who him at all, but when him call a person, then Mr. Vex. Him no say Mr. Lex, you know. Him say Mr. Vex. So in other words, then Bounty Killer try to say this is going to even make Mr. Lex more upset because, of course, him go for Mr. Lex. You understand what I say, people? So anyway, somebody, <laughs> somebody jump in at the comment section and say, Heard someone said it will not be no hit or it will be no hit. Bounty Killer responded and said, no, it's because all this time Kali just didn't call the hit man and the hit gang. You understand, people? So, of course, you know, it's a Bounty Killer. I take a little bit of self-praise there, so, along with the rest of the artists. Them, you understand, people? And, of course, you have to feel good. You would have an album where go number one on the billboard, even though a lot of persons are going to say, DJ Khaled, that's why, and, and this and that and all type of things. But at the end of the day, the man named on the album, and it's definitely a good look. You see, my people? So, Bounty Killer, say, I'm going to take out him suit from now, because, of course, you know, say the Grammy and all them type of things. So, Bounty Killer, look forward to going into the Grammys and thing. Yo, can you imagine if all of that happened? Why may I tell you I know Miss Ali? <laughs> I'm not going to say what I'm going to say, yeah, people. But leave in the comments and make me know where anything about this. Bounty killer, if he is still, you know, load the artist now, man. You see me? Can't beat a man while he's down. You see it? <laughs> Anyway, people, leave in the comments and make me know where you think about this. So now we're going to talk about Intense making a post on Instagram. And a lot of persons are speculating that Skilly Bang is talk about. You understand what I'm saying, people? Now, of course, you guys are supposed to be aware that Skilly Bang was trending on Twitter a few days ago. And that is because of the whole Crocodile Teeth remix featuring Nicki Minaj. A lot of persons say it's fake. And of course, you know, say Skilly Bang get a lot of backlash and all of that. You understand, people? And we even see where a lot of persons are saying Nicki Minaj, this Skilly Killy Bang, may they even talk about it. Now, as I said before, I am not sure if that message or whatever is aimed at Skilly Bang. Because you know, of course, people can cut and paste and them can edit things to make it look like that goes at a certain person. You understand what I'm saying, people? So we're not really sure if Nicki Minaj actually did Skilly Bang. But of course, you know, say Nicki Minaj, she know what go on when it comes to the Jamaican culture, dancehall culture and all them things that she tune into it. So I'm not surprised if she know about what's going on, if she see the post, or even if that comment was actually towards Skilly Bang. But as I said, I'm not co-signing it because I'm not sure if it is real or fake. You understand what I'm saying, people? Now, of course, you know, say intense, it goes up, Bob's and make a post on his Instagram page saying that he won 5,000 comments and he's going to drop a new music video, right, people? And he did get the 5,000 comments, but he still not dropped the music video. But the difference with intense, because Killy Bang said he won 50,000 comments and he dropped the Crocodile Teeth, right? The Crocodile Teeth remix, him get the 50,000 comments, him not drop no song, him not drop nothing at all, him delete the post, all the people are this him, right? The difference with Intense, even though Intense not drop theme video as well, is because at least him give us a preview so we can see that is real. Now, Skilly Bang never put nothing, not even a preview for we hear Nicki Minaj voice for say, all right, the thing actually real and thing. Even though to me, still enough people, I feel like the track is real, but at the end of the day, a lot of persons don't feel that that way and why me even feel say it real 
abakaz the cover art. Yeah, tell me, say the man would actually spend so much time and go so bad and build a nice cover art just for show the fans them. That no make no sense. You understand, people? But we we'll soon get into all of that. Cause we got to talk about it a little bit more, you know, people. We we'll got to a intense post up on him Insta Snap that leads a lot of persons to believe say a skilly bang him at all. But you understand? So intense say. Rookie them with a whole bunch of laughing emoji. I could have swear a blue tip me sit to you know. You understand people? So of course a lot of persons are gonna speculate say a skilly bang him a call a rookie. And of course you don't know what is a rookie, you understand? And from you know say intense put up a post like this. Uh, it kinda seem like he would have take some shots off a skilly bang. Me not tell like who else he would have talk about. People just leave it in the comment section. But yeah man, a lot of persons are speculate say a skilly bang him a talk about. And me actually feel so even though him not tag him. I you know them artists are not tag and them just send out like a shades and people have to kinda decrypt it and all them things there. So you know all of this is just speculations. We don't really have no proof. But basically most people feel like say a skilly bang him a call rookie, you understand? And the man say, I swear I could have blue tick me sit to laughing emoji and the IDK um, emoji. You understand what I say, people? So I don't know. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And what more I want to ask you know, people, Zane, when you know, feel like an actual um, crocodile teeth remix debut, because as I say, I feel like it actually debut, but I feel like say, him just you not know, get the clearance yet for, for release it. Because, you know, of course, you know, you have to go through certain things and all of them type of things. There, but I feel like say Skilly Ben kind of do this strategically, you know, people. And why I say so, him actually make a lot of persons that talk about him, him go trending, and then all the people are anticipate this track. And I feel like if him for drop this track, maybe like the next two days, it would have do better than if him did actually drop it the same day when him asked for the comments. Them because a lot of persons are talk about it, it kind of gone in a people mind now. And them and some people would have even wonder how that track they would have sound. You see, my people, so if Skilly Bang for drop that all the next three days, that good all got a million views in all two days. You understand? So, but I don't know still, people, but I feel like say if it's not a strategy he might use, then him does not get the clearance yet for if I actually put it out or something. You see, my people, but let me know when you think about this, and also when I feel like. Say Skilly Bang is a fake and a fraud for doing something like that. You understand? No feel like same just said one go trending, creating some form of controversy. Cause I must they think of all of that and say, yo, what if me get the fifty thousand comments them all that I go go? Or I don't feel like him did put it at 50,000 because him never expect for actually get that amount of comments. Because sometimes some person will say, all right, give me 100,000 comments because you know you're not going to get that. So you can actually just delete the post after a while. And some people will say, all right, him never get the comments them way him did a look for. So I hold the track a little bit more. Yes, my people. But let me know where anything about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the dance hall princess Shensia feeling a bit down on Mother's Day. You understand? Of course, you know that Mother's Day was yesterday, made. The ninth. You understand what I say, people? Now, basically, Shensia made a few posts on her Instagram page showing, say, yes, it's good to be a mother and she feel happy, but also that she misses her mother. You understand? And of course, you know, say, Shensia and her mother had a close relationship. You understand what I say, people? Now, basically, Shensia posted up two um, videos on her Instagram page. One when she actually got to meet her son. You can see it playing at the background. And then she also posted up another clip with her and her mother. You understand what I say, people? and the caption for that she said been a hard and bittersweet one i miss my mom so much happy mother's day mom love and miss you infinity crying emojis big thanks to ramish and slay the wizard for bringing my world at my feet rajira lee my baby hashtag the best mother's day gift you understand people so it's definitely a good look still and you don't know say when you lose a parent mother father somebody where you're close to it kinda hits home a lot, you know, seeing people, especially like a mother and Mother's Day, it's a go going in your mind and all of that. And also certain dates, maybe like her birthday. But you know, sometimes you might forget about the whole situation and then bam, any little thing you see can just trigger it off and just kinda make you just start feel down in a way. You see my people. So Shensia, you don't know say it's not going to be an easy road ahead of you because you're gonna have many more Mother's Day and you know see a mummy gonna come back in your mind. But just know say your mommy love you and you know you know say she love you. You know that, you understand? So anyway people leave in the comments and make me know where they think about this.
So now we're going to talk about DJ Khaled speaking on Jamaica and also celebrating his album being number one on the Billboard. As my people, and what I'm going to do is read an article and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. As my people, so the article says DJ Khaled's Khaled Khaled debuted number one on the Billboard 200. DJ Khaled 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 has debuted number one on the Billboard 200 album charts according to Nielsen MRC data. The album moved 93,000 equivalent units, including 14,000 actual sales and 76,000 streaming equivalents from just under 107 million plays. The album is doing better on platforms like Spotify and Apple Music than on sites like iTunes, which speak to the listening habits of the DJ's fans. And according to Forbes.com, this is the third time at number one on the Billboard 200 chart for DJ Khaled. He previously hit the mark with Grateful and Major Key and has been getting praises for his marketing efforts from industry players for this latest project. P. Diddy in congratulating DJ Khaled on his marketing plan said, I ain't gonna lie, I have never seen nothing like this. I have done a bunch of crazy rollouts that have always been my strength. The way you roll this ish out, I need to know. Sometimes you think you know it all. I am a believer. I don't know that there is another album that can get my time right now because of the energy you put out. The energy talked about by P. Diddy includes an elaborate visit to Jamaica to record music and shoot music videos. He started promoting the album last year, but things became interesting after the Jamaica visit last month. Khalid and his family stayed at the exclusive Rio Chico Resort owned by Sandals Caribbean, which he calls the Holy Mountain. Adam Stewart, chairman of the Sandals Group in an Instagram Live with Khalid, said he is blown away by the way Khalid carries himself. Khalid Khalid has 14 tracks ranging from pop, hip-hop, reggae and R&B and features 30 artists among them are Cardi B, Lil Baby, Lil Wayne, Drake, Bounty Killer, Bojo Bantan, Barrington Levy, Capleton and others. Khalid has dropped music video for a number of the songs on the album and every chance I get music video featuring Lil Baby and Lil Dirk is the top trending song in the United States this week on YouTube. So yes, people, Khalid definitely work hard and we we'll have to give him that credit. You understand that we are, yes, when the money wants something, he make it happen. Trust me upon that. And I guess having money obviously make that a lot easier. You understand what I say, people? But at the same time, Khalid has always been a person who has stayed that way. If you have been a Khalid fan or if you even follow him a little bit, you know, say I saw him stay. If you want something, he might go go fit. So I think he definitely deserves to have the number one album on the Billboard 200 chart. You understand, people? So, yeah, big up yourself, Khalid. You don't know, say, you're yeah, a yeah, yard man, regardless of you not being born in Jamaica. Wally Paddy Yard man, them rate you. And of course, you know, say, you have one and two here. <laughs> I joke me I make people but leave in the comments and let me know where you think about this thanks for watching the video don't forget to like share subscribe and turn on the notification bell bless upon yourself and keep safe I'm out <laughs>